Hi everyone, I'm glad you've come to cook with Victoria. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make a delicacy, a special one. It's a goat head pepper soup like, but it's not pepper soup. So come along with me and let's do this together. So I is say we'll be needing goat head because it's cooked from the head of the goat. This one has been washed and cleansed. And we'll be making it a bit spicy because that's the way it's made. We'll be needing palm oil. We'll be needing edible potash. We call it corn. We'll be needing crayfish. Crayfish is optional, but I would like to put it there. Salt, pepper. I'll be using half of this when I'm boiling the meat. I'm cooking the meat, and the many half fresh when I'm about to finish it. Potash the leaves. No cubes and this is African calabash. I'm going to be taking the shell off and show and then blend it and I'll be using my onion powder. I'm in love with my onion powder, homemade onion powder. You can use fresh onion but I'll be using that. Let's move on in our cooking to our goat head. I'm adding some salt the pepper blended onion powder and uh, two of these I'll cover it after putting it inside I'll cover and allow it to cook very very well for about 30 minutes I'm ready to cover now. I've added some water. The next 30 minutes. Our goat meat is well cooked. So what I'll be doing now, we we'll move to the next stage. I'm pouring the palm oil inside the big pot. Now I'll be adding the edible potash. This one has been rounded into powder. I'll just add it to water. Call it corn. Then I'll mix it with the palm oil. And you see the magic of it. You see that the color has changed. It has become lighter. Then the African calabash. I'm going to add. Mm. the flavor this we give to it remove it from the shell and I just added it to it now the crayfish to um little bit just keep on stirring now the pepper that I said I was going to blend so i use part into the goat meat then the remaining half into this one just to give it that spiciness you need in it mm. this is looking good already now the potatoes the leaves just just for garnishing remember potatoes is bitter so just little bit of it so now we are adding our goat meat to it just add the goat meat to it and you mix it together your isi wool is ready just make sure the goat meat is well coated with the hamwan mixture this is how it tastes when served. Let me show you how it tastes. Let me show you something. <laughs> That's the air. Mm. Very soft. Well cooked. Mm. Tasty. 
when it comes to cooking you just keep on exploring and as you explore you will discover a lot and as you discover you will enjoy like today we have discovered how to cook is so super easy just put in your potash your goat head and you saw me when i was eating it so super delicious before i go don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe and join this wonderful family by clicking on the subscribe button and don't forget to click also on the notification bell as this will allow you to be notified each time i upload new video leave your comment in the comment section till next time bye